Hey there YouTube, it's MathBoar. Welcome to my TTM Monday Autograph Recap video. I'm going to show you all my returns from last week, the week of April 17th, 2022. I received 38 autographs from 11 people, though one of them I didn't actually send a card to get signed. It was a thank you note which was signed, so that definitely does count. So I'm going to show you the items within the order that I received them. I've been actively TTMing for over seven and a half years. I'll let you know how frequently I've sent to these people as well. I'll let you know how many cards I sent, how many days it took if I sent a donation, but I will not give you addresses as those can be found on SCN or SCF very easily. I prefer SCN, but both are good sites. So first return I got last week, first time I ever sent to Brett Bodine, and here we go. For these racers, some of them rack them up, so I... You know, I'm breaking my own rule here, and I'm sending out six. He signed all six of them, which was cool. That's an electric diamond parallel. Those SPX cards I always thought looked really nice. And then a few horizontal cards. When I do send them out, TTM, if I have some horizontals, I'll usually put them in order so the signer doesn't flip through them and have to keep rotating cards. But uh, anyway, next up is also a first-timer. Three of two in 39 days. This person also signed in the next card. We got Gil Patterson. Now, Don Ossie hasn't been signed TTM for a bit. In fact, he just sent out notes with all his people who had sent requests saying, you know, he's not signing TTM anymore. But uh, we'll check into the error, guys. If not, hey, I got two. If any of the error guys sign, I'll send one of them out, and I'll keep one for Gil Patterson. But Gil Patterson did sign the next card as well which was super cool, so thank you. And this next was a first-timer, Sandy Whittle. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say Sandy's last name. But this card was already signed by Tom Brennan, so off to Chris Bando you go. And I'm not sure about the other two on this one. This card might be done. But this next one was a one of zero, in six days, I sent this person a card to keep. Please check out my other video if you have a moment. Posted a couple weeks ago, um, you know, Frank Thomas looking for cards to give to his 75-year-old friends. So I sent a more modern card there, a 90s card, and he definitely appreciated it, yeah. So it does actually say in this note that he received the 1960 and 1961 cards. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, saying they still need a couple of these other ones. So hopefully some other people have sent them out. If not, I'll check my list there, but we'll make it work. So that's really cool there. You're welcome, Mr. Thomas. And I do have some more modernish cards. And you can see the next one. I've been sending to this person every few months. Frank or uh, Bill Mazeroski, three of three, seven days, $30 donation. He's $10 per, so it doesn't bother me to send every couple months because this person does have a fee. And these are three vintage cards, and they're all beat up. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it probably a little bit there. The crease. This is dual creased, but looks awesome. And I really wanted that 63 sign. I've always liked this particular set, too, with that pennant look there, and... Uh, you can see this one's got a crease right there, but it looks so cool. And this one's got a crease in a very similar spot. So it's like I didn't want to send these cards right away because they're, there it is, low grade for sure. But I'm not, I'm not going to get them graded or anything. But since I had received some back, it was time to send these ones out. So next up, this is the second time I've ever sent to this person. Three of two in 80 days. This person also signed the index card. That would be Larry Colton. To the best of my knowledge, I'll double check, but the other individual does not sign. But he did end up completing this one, which I had received signed by Don Money a while back. And what's cool is they both signed in thin blue Sharpie. So this card looks awesome. And Mr. Colton did sign the index card as well. Alright, this next person, I'm going to guess this is the fourth time I've ever sent to this person with a $10 donation. Four of three signed the index card in seven days. Hero, Rocky Blair. Man, this guy's awesome. If you don't know about his backstory, please check into it. What he was able to accomplish. After all that shrapnel into his foot. Oh my goodness. 
So, I mean, he stopped signing due to COVID. This action pack card looks great. I'm not exactly sure what's so special about the silver border, but there's something about this. So, whether it's an insert set or what, but that's great. And he signed the next card, too. But yeah, that was really good. This next person, I believe this is the third time I've ever sent to him. This is a $5 per card. I sent four cards. So four of four in seven days with a $20 donation to Louis Lips. And all four of these cards are kind of unique in their own way. There's his Thousand Yard Club. Whoops, there was a card stuck to the back. Actually, it's not a card. It's a sticker. We got a sticker. Yeah. There's a playing card. And there's these Lip Smackers Gourmet Chocolate Chip Pecan Cookies card. I think, mm, I don't want to say, I think it was Michael Myers maybe. Or it could have been Larry the Media Marauder who had this signed a long time ago. And I finally come across one, so bam, out it went. This next person I've sent to three times before. This was a four of four in eight days from Paul Wagner. And for some reason, I don't recall Paul Wagner signing in blue Sharpie before, so awesome. Always looks better than black Sharpie. Well, almost always. So very cool. There's an electric diamond one. And this is going to be the most inscriptions you're going to see. It's TTM legend, Vern Law, four of three, signed the index card, loaded up, also in eight days, with a $25 donation. I mean, uh, well, fee, but it goes to a great cause, everybody. So, um, yeah. It's a pretty expensive week, but um, now that's a reprint card. Beautiful. Vernlaw, 1960 Cy Young and World Series Champs, Comeback Player of the Year as well, Lou Gehrig Award. Awesome. I know Vernlaw now signs for a fee through Pass Pros. Not a problem. I will gladly send this out eventually to him. Look at Vernlaw hooking that up. Now this 1960 card, it's got a little crease on as well, but right there, but that's all right. Love how he added Cy Young, World Series Champs, two-time All-Star, 1960 on this 1960 card, and then he loaded up the index card too. Man, does he take pride in this. This is so beautiful. That was my 10th return of the week. My 11th return, this, and I'll send to Vern Law. For, you know, over seven years now, over seven and a half years now, I've sent to Vern Law, you know, three times a year. It's worth every bit of it. He's $8 per card, so I send three cards and a $25 donation. Uh, this next one's four of four in nine days, my last one of the week, and this is the third time I've ever sent to Chris Gardaki. That came out real nice on that top's finest. The baby power worked out real well. There he is on a Super Bowl 40 card. There is on a Super Bowl 43 card, a little smudgy, a little extra for me there. And there we go. Here he is on a tops total. Both of these other guys did sign for a brief moment. Ricardo Coakley was real brief. Jeff Reed was rather brief. Now, I did see someone get a return back from him, so maybe he's going through old requests, but I ain't taking that risk. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Mondays, and an autograph and or recap video like an autograph and or trading card recap video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I would appreciate it if you let me know what was your favorite. I appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.